Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my five star predictions. This is a video that I've seen going around booktube for a while now. It started with Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. She did a video on um, her predictions for books that would get five stars. For me, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, um, especially after seeing some of my friends on here do it and I love watching them. I think it's such an interesting topic, but I struggle with giving books five stars. It's very rare for me to give a book five stars and so I thought I don't know if I'm gonna have enough books to talk about, but I managed to come up with four books. I only own one of the books that I have on my list, so I'll just insert the pictures for all of them right here. That way it'll be a lot easier to kind of follow in the video. Um, but yeah, it was really hard for me to come up with a list. Um, I'm curious to hear about you guys. Do you give five stars a lot? Like, is that a common rating that you give books? What is it about a book that for you would merit five stars? For me, a five star book is a book that as soon as I finish it, it's like an instant favorite. It's a book that I know I want to reread sometime that really kept me either at the edge of my seat or engaged or um, was emotionally gripping. Those are the books that get five stars for me and that doesn't happen a lot. Especially this year, I was looking at my Goodreads and I don't have a lot of five star uh, ratings that I've given this year. But anyway, I'm just gonna get right into the four that I actually picked. So one of those books that I gave a five star rating is a book that I read I think last week and it's Sing Unburied Sing by Jessmine Ward. This was the first book that I've ever read by her and I was just in awe of this book. I love the writing style. As I was reading I was like not everybody's gonna love this book but for me it just worked. I'll talk a little bit more about that book in my wrap up but um, as soon as I finished it, I was like, I need to read something else by Jessmine Ward. And I think the next one I'm going to read is Salvage the Bones. This one, I think, if it's anything like Sing Unburied Sing, or if it even has a similar style of telling the story, then I'm going to be giving that one five stars as well. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of sad that that's the only other fiction book that she's written. She has a, I think, essay collection um, called The Fire Next Time. Um, I definitely want to read that one, but that's, I believe, nonfiction. But yeah, this is definitely one that I think, if it's anything like Sing Unburied Sing, I'm a fan and I cannot wait to get to that one. The next one I have here is one that I'm going to be reading for nonfiction November and that's The Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan. I've read Cosmos before and I've also read some articles that Carl Sagan has written. This one I've heard is a little bit different than his other books. It's more philosophical, it deals a little bit more with spirituality. Um, I think the whole concept that he was working with is how science can still bring about hope. A lot of people look towards faith as their way of hoping and having more positivity and more optimism about the future. But I think that science can also be reassuring. I think that science can also bring about hope. It's one of the reasons why I feel like science can also be tied with spirituality. So anyway, I'm not going to get into that whole topic because I believe I'll be here another 10 minutes, but I'm very excited about this book. I love Carl Sagan. And I really want to see how he's going to be talking about science and philosophy and religion and spirituality and kind of tying it all together in, in the magical way he has of talking about science. So I'm really excited about that one. The next one on my list is a modern classic and it's Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. I am buddy reading a bunch of books by Maurier with Brie and Tori. I'll have both of their channels linked down below. And recently we read Frenchman's Creek. That was my third book by Maurier, And I believe I gave it five stars. Um, if I didn't give it five stars, it was like really close. Um, but I believe that Jamaica Inn will be just as good. I'm just such a fan of Maurier and her writing style. And I feel like she's such a unique author. Um, that I cannot wait to see what that book's all about. I believe I'm a little biased when it comes to Du Maurier because I'm such a fan. I really think that ja Jamaica Inn will be one of those books that I'm just like, wow, I'm so happy I'm reading another Du Maurier. And I, you know, I love her characters. I love her writing style. And, you know, I'm standing for Du Maurier right now. So I have a feeling this one might get five stars too. And then the last book that I chose was No Country for Old Men by Corbett McCarthy. I read The Road last month and I gave it five stars. I absolutely loved it. I chose No Country for Old Men because really long time ago I watched the movie and I really enjoyed it. Well, 
as much as you can enjoy that type of movie. I don't remember the details of the movie or the plot or um, why I liked it so much because it's been a couple years. So I decided to read the book. I kind of have the idea that I'll like the plot, so I figured I'll try that one. And I enjoyed The Road so much, I figured that this one will get, you know, if not five stars, really close. So those are the four books that I picked. I'm debating whether I should do a video about how I felt about all the books that I read, if they got the five stars. I think Mercedes did something like that where it was kind of like an update and um, she wasn't very lucky with her five star predictions, but I'm hoping that mine um, work out for me. So we will see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.